In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to connect Amazon Web Services S3 from the Denaro platform. To connect to S3, you need a custom wrapper, which is available for download in the Denaro support site. To download this wrapper, you need to have a valid support site credentials. In addition, if you are doing a POC slash free trial or a marketplace subscription on AWS or Azure, you can still sign up for support using the URL provided on the marketplace offering. To get the custom wrapper, please do the following steps. Go to support.denado.com. Under the tab Downloads, click on the Denado Connects. Once you are in the Denado Connects page, search for the custom wrapper Denado Distributed File System Custom Wrapper. The Denado Distributed File System Custom Wrapper distribution contains five VDP wrappers capable of reading files in several formats such as delimited text files, sequence files, map files, Avro files, and par key files from HDFS, Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, Azure Data Lake Storage, and Google Cloud Storage. In addition, the custom wrapper can retrieve file information from the distributed file system and display it in a relational way. Click the download icon next to the wrapper name. Now the wrapper is being downloaded, unzip the file to have the jars extracted. After the wrapper is downloaded, we need to import this wrapper into Virtual Data Port Administration Tool. Open the Virtual Data Port Administration Tool. Click on the File menu. Select the option Extension Management. A new window is opened. In this window, click on the Import button to import the downloaded custom wrapper. Browse to the folder location where you have the custom wrapper Denaro Distributed File System Custom Wrapper present and click on the Import button. Please note that the wrapper has three jars present in the DIST folder. Select the jar named Denaro-HTFS-CustomWrapper-7.0-ReleaseDate-JAR-with-dependencies.jar. Make sure to select the correct jar file in order to be able to utilize the complete features of the custom wrapper. Click OK to import the jar into the administration tool. Once the jar is successfully imported, you will get an alert box displaying the new custom elements imported in the virtual data port server. The next step is to create a data source for connecting to AWS S3. To do that, right click on the elements tree, select new, data source and custom option. A new tab is open. Provide a name for the custom data source. Next, you need to select the class name. Before doing that, Make sure you check the box Select Jars. In the list, select Denado HTFS Custom Wrapper 7.0 option. As you select, that you can see the class name parameters filled with values. Now click the drop down option to view the list of classes for the custom jar. You can choose the appropriate class depending upon the file type in the below list. Delimit the text files, sequence files, map files, Avro files and par key files. In the list, select the following class name com.denodo.connect.hadoop.htfs.wrapper.htfsdelimited text file wrapper. As the data we are going to use is a delimited file. Save the data source. Now we need to create a base view to introspect the data from the S3. To do that, click on the create base view button on the top right side of the data source tab. A new window is presented. Provide the file system URI value. This is the URI which has the connection details of the AWS S3 bucket. The URI will be in the format S3 colon double slash at the rate of bucket name. S3A is a file system client that can read write files created in the S3 bucket. Bucket name, name of the AWS S3 bucket which contains the files. Now provide the path value of the delimited file that you want to access in the S3 bucket. Please note, these fields are mandatory. Now we need to provide a configuration file that overrides the default core parameters file in order to establish a successful connection to S3. These values are present in core-site.xml file. This file contains the credentials and the custom option that are needed to connect and introspect the AWS S3 bucket. Here is the sample core site.xml file, which 
you can use to create a file and replace the relevant access credentials. To know more about this co-site.xml and details regarding the other optional parameters, refer to the official documentation that comes along with Denado Distributed File System Custom Wrapper Download Folder Distribution. In the drop-down next to custom co-site-xml file, select the option Local. Click on the Configure button. In the new window, browse to the folder location where the co-site.xml file resides. Once you have selected the file, click OK. Now, you can see the folder path with the file name displayed below the parameter custom core-site.xml file. Provide the field separated value as comma as we are reading the data from CSV file. Click OK to create and see the scheme of the base view. Then rename the base view and save it. Next is to see if we can successfully view the data by executing the base view. In order to do that, click on the execution panel on the top right side of the base view. In the execution tab at the bottom, click on the execute button on the right. As the results are received, you can see them being displayed in the output tab. We have successfully connected to AWS S3 from Genardo platform using the Genardo distributed file system custom wrapper. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned about connecting to Amazon S3 bucket from Genardo platform.